Hi, it's me, Vamp, and welcome back or welcome to the channel. Now, today I am going over my loadout, particularly my Necromech and my Railjack loadout. So if you want to see my Aquing loadout or Warframe and Weapons loadout, there'll be links in the description below to both of those. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out, shall we? Okay, so I'm, I don't fully have my void rig leveled up yet, okay? You guys can see it clearly here. That is probably my big downfall because I need it leveled up to 40 so I can get 10 more mod capacity slot so I can put at least one other mod in. So that's kind of that. But this should give you a general idea build. Um, now, like, you can use the Bone Widow, which is the other Necromech, if you want. But I'm using the Void Rig because, honestly, between me and you, the Void Rig is my favorite Necromech. Because the Void Rig has this. The Void Rig is known as the sort of shooting Necromech, and the Bone Widow is known as the Melee. Their ultimates are different. This is the Void Rig's ultimate gun or whatever. So, yeah. As you can see, I didn't form a, this ultimate at all. I probably should have. Honestly, forgot about it. But honestly, even just now, it does find damage. We don't know how much, um, what level the enemies are going to be, as far as I know, in the new war. We don't know much at all, because DE actually is trying to make it a surprise, which is very good. I actually like that for the most part, it's going to be a surprise. You know, little teasers here and there, but for the most part, a surprise. But yeah, that is my build for that. Now, I guess we'll go over this here, which is, in case you're wondering why this is here. This is my heavy weapon, which can be totally different from, you know, the exact Void Rig's weapon, which I have this as my Void Rig weapon because it is an awesome weapon, okay? Let's take a look at it, okay? This is the weapon. I don't have it formed because I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. I do not spend much time forming arc weapons or arc wing. I might do weapons more often since you can bring weapons into the main game now, but I don't really do them all that often. I forget about it sometimes, but this is perfectly fine in my opinion. So yeah, there we go. With this, this is my build. We may as well show you this as well. And as you can see, I don't, I already have this build just fine. The thing about this build though, since I'm going to have to form this four more times, it's, it's going to become ridiculous. I'm kind of hoping we get more arc wing mods, arc gun mods, just so it doesn't seem like a waste, you know, more primed mod is what I'm asking for. But yeah, let's go on to 
All right, Railjack. Yes, we will configure the Railjack. For those of you guys that don't know, um, you go here, click Configure Plexus or whatever it's called. Um, now this is basically an OS slot. Um, you know, you go here, it's your OS slot. Now I have this as the OS slot. And as you can see, not all of these are maxed out because again, I haven't really done the best I could with Aquing, if I'm being perfectly honest. And Transex, I have a bit more, but I don't have all of them. Now, Intrinsic, I do recommend getting. I believe I have a fair amount for certain things. I'm going to go ahead and make this five. So I have at least five across the board. Because I think Intrinsics are important. This is probably the one you need as well. You need, so if you're doing this mission solo, which everyone is, because as far as I know, it is a solo mission because most of the, most of the quests are solo missions. So it wouldn't make sense for this not to be a solo mission, is what I'm saying. But yeah, um, so I'd recommend leveling up command that's it, a uh, personal preference, so you can get all of the crewmates on your side. See, three crewmates, um, complimentary gain, unusual crewmates let you use your Kuba and presumably sisters as, you know, your um, crewmates. So that's pretty cool. But back to here, I'm rambling. Okay, so we have this for torrent damage. And then maximum mutations um, for more speed here. More speed, um, forward artillery damage, torrent critical chance. Um, chance for torrent critical hits to ignore enemy shield, point critical damage. So that, that for battle here, we don't have any of these leveled up. Um, vortex that absorbs incoming fire and detonates releasing damage. Um, delivers a barrage of explosions across a large area, a black hole that draws an enemy dealing damage. These are our battle presets. And these are our tactical presets. So right now, um, freeze all enemy boarding parties for 15 seconds. See, this is actually it explains why. See, I always think they're frozen, like the game is glitching or something, but it's not. It's just my ability. That's pretty cool. And then Death Blossom Torrent Cooldowns removed for 10 seconds. Fire Suppression. I should probably work on leveling this up. I still have some time, guys. So maybe I will be leveling up my Railjack a bit more. But yeah, that is what my loadout is. Hopefully this video has helped you in some way, shape, or form. Later.